Hi, it's Rob from The Brush and Balcon. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to paint a Blade Guard Ancient. So the first colour we're using today is going to be Vallejo Black. I'm going to use this to do the trim on the shoulder pad, the little bits between the armour plates, the helmet, any other little details you fancy doing with that. You can give it a nice smooth coat. Now initially you can see here a mix of gold and red. So I've used Citadel Retribute Armour to spray the top of that standard. And then I use Citadel Mephist on Red Spray to spray the bottom. So there's a bit of an overlap on them, but that's just to get the basic colours on there. So now I'm going to use Citadel Mephist on Red. I'm just going to use this to touch up all the areas of armour. That's just to get rid of the gold, which is on pretty much every plate. So if you're wise and you just use my fist on red spray, you probably won't need to do this layer. There's a great miniature. There's some excellent stuff that you can do with this. By doing a bit of lighting on the legs, you'll see when I've done the armor plates on his legs or the robes as well, because there's some nice little creases in there. You can get them looking cool. And obviously the standard. We're just going to touch up the standard with some Citadel Retributor armor. Get that into the recesses where there's going to be a little bit of a fist on red in there. And when I'm going through here and painting up that skeleton, because it amused me the way it's in the shape of, or a similar pose of, Ray Liotta laughing in Goodfellas. So if you've seen our Instagram, I've whacked up a picture there of a side by side. So once you've painted up the bone of this, I actually do a few little tweaks to it, which I haven't put in this video, so the actual finished product will look a little bit different. So now I'm going to use Citadel Rockard Flesh, and we're going to paint all of his robes, and also the skeleton, and the parchment bits of the Purity Seals. The skeleton does look slightly different, when you see the finished pictures, but I included the parts here to make it look like the skeleton. you've finished all the robes and the bone and the parchments and go to the next colour which is going to be the Leo Model Air Chrome or any light kind of silvery colour will do it I'm using this to paint the shaft of the standard there and also that metal hand and any of the little metal bits on him sort of like the pistol grip poking out the holster and the few little sockets on the skeleton, that kind of thing. I'm going to use a little bit of Citadel Avalon Sunset, nice quick one this. That's just going to be to do his eye lenses. Just want to make sure you get that front to back coverage on the eye lens with the Avalon Sunset. And once you've got that, so on to the next one. The next one is going to be Citadel Corn Red, and we're going to be using this to do the wax parts of the Purity Seals. You can just give them a nice smooth coat of that. There's quite a few seals on him. You've got the two on his chest there, three on one side of the stand, one on the other side of the standard. He does have a few little bits of parchment poking out from one hip and also underneath his hand as well. There isn't any actual seal parts on them though, it is just the parchment. Next up, Citadel Mornfang Brown. I'm going to use this to do his belt and also the holster and the pouch on his back. Not sure what kind of pistol that is, but that is quite the holster. He's got the brown done. Let's move on to the next colour. Next we're going to use some tiny little bits of fulgurite copper. 
I'm just going to use this to do the little bands around his arms. You can see there that I've already done a couple because the video didn't start, or I didn't start the video rather. Now I'm going to use a little bit of Citadel Reichland Flesh Shade. I'm going to use this to actually paint the parchment on the purity seals. I usually would use Seraphim Sepia on this, but because they're all hanging over his robes, I didn't want them all to blend in at all, so I'm using a different coloured shade just so they make them stand out a little bit more. Once we've painted them up, they won't just blend in with the robes. So now it's time to start with the shade, and the first shade that we're going to use is Citadel Seraphim Sepia. So we're going to give all of the robes and the skeleton a coat of this. You want to try not to let it settle too much in the recesses, because you don't want it to be too dark. There will be a couple of areas where it's a bit too dark on one of the shoulders. If you do that, it's not too bad. It doesn't really matter too much. If you can kind of keep it so it's a little bit lighter in the recesses where it's only some thin concave areas on the cloth and then just separate up that skeleton. Next up is Citadel Duchy Violet and we're going to use this to do all of his armour plates. I really do like putting the shades on. It brings all those details out and just brings the character a bit more to life. Rather than it just being a kind of monotone on each section. Now we're going to use a little bit of Citadel Caribbean Crimson and we're going to use this to do each of the seals on the purity seals. Not too many of these, so it's quite a short one. Like so. Next up, we're going to use a little bit of Citadel Cassandora Yellow, and that is going to be to do the eye lenses. So you need just enough to give them that darkness and the almost orangey yellow shade around the recess. If you put too much on, it really darkens the whole lens. It doesn't matter too much because we'll be reapplying some Avalon Sunset anyway. So next is a little bit of a Grax Earth shade. I'm going to use this to paint up all of the gold. Well, depending on what kind of gold that you like to do, this is how I tend to do all the gold. It just gives it that dark look. The Grax Air shade out of the way. It's time for some Citadel Nuln Oil. I'm going to use this to paint the belt buckle and all of the leather. And now a little bit of Citadel Nuln Oil Gloss. I'm going to use this to paint all of the areas that we painted with that Baleo Model Air Chrome. And this will let it keep it shine. So it still looks quite fresh and clean. And not weathered and a bit grimed up. And just be aware that when it pools it will leave a little shiny pool on it. So if there's anywhere where it pools up too much. Just if you need to mattify that again at a later point you can just go over that with a little bit of normal, normal oil. Now we're going to start working on his armour, we're going to use Citadel Mephist on red. Now what we're trying to do here is add the red to the top edges that are going to be catching the light on the top part of the armour. So if the armour curls underneath or wouldn't be catching any light because there's something above it, we're just going to leave it shaded. I 
gives the impression of shade even when it's not quite shaded. The first on red finished, we're going to highlight that. The first highlight of Citadel Evil Sun Scarlet. And again, you want to be only putting this where the light is going to be catching the red armour. By doing this, it does give the impression of light coming from above. So you only want to do maybe about 50% of the areas that you're putting the fist on red on. You only want to put the Evil Sun Scarlet on those areas. And we're going to finish off the armour using a little bit of Citadel Squig Orange. And this is mainly to do highlights on the top edges and any edges that are going to be catching the light. That just makes them stand out and really does make it look like light is catching the armour. Next up, we're going to use some Citadel Rakarth Flesh. I'm going to reapply the colour to the robes and the skeleton as well. So when you're doing the robes, you want to make sure that you're leaving the Seraphim Sepia shade in the recesses. So you've got that dark area where you've got the concaves in the robe or the bits where it folds round towards his leg, the inside of that. You do want to brush with a good point when you're doing this because there is quite a few bits between those kind of rosary beads that go around his waist there. I'm going to add a little bit of white to the Rakarth flesh. I'm going to do the first highlight. Now we are using these colours on the parchment for the purity seals as well. So Rakarth flesh them on the previous part and then use the same highlight on this. But as you can tell the colours of them because of that shade does make them stand out from the robes, makes the robes look a lot cleaner, while the parchments look a bit darker and aged. Now I'm going to add a little bit more white to the previous mix. I'm using Vallejo white here, but whatever white you've got will work fine. I'm just going to do more highlights on the robes. See the robes coming into their own there, adding a little bit more white to the previous mix. We are just going to add some little highlights to the parchments now. We're doing a couple of little extra highlights on these just to make them a little bit whiter and make them stand out a little bit more from the robes themselves. But if you want to add a little bit more highlight into the robes, that's fine too. like so. Now I'm going to work on the skeleton, so we've already added the Rakarth flesh, and now we're adding Rakarth flesh mixed with Citadel Ushabti bone. That gives us the first highlight colour for the skeleton. So here, as with the armour, you want to be putting the highlights on the top sides and the top edges, making sure that they are the areas that are catching the light, and to give that the kind of more bone colour. I'll add in a little bit more Ushabti bone to the mix now. Just going to do another highlight with that. Now you may notice that I'm doing a bit more highlights in certain areas, and that's just because 
because I'm painting it up for something specific, I wanted the light to catch it in certain areas. So this left hand side here of the face, I'm trying to get some highlights going down that left hand side and then down the left hand side of the nose as well. Also lighten up the collarbones, the neck and the shoulders a little bit more than they normally would be. But if you paint up the skeleton like that, that will look fine. Now I'm just going to add a little bit of white to the previous mix. And we're just going to highlight that once more. Picking out the details and giving them one final little highlight. I'm going to use a little bit of Vallejo black and this is just to do a spot on the eyeball there. Now the eyeball has just been painted white prior to that. So if you just paint the eyeball white you can put a spot on there if you wanted to have the eye or if you want to make it like an orb or something like that you can paint it white and then use maybe a red contrast or Caribbean crimson and just put that around it so that you get the darker red on the outside and the lighter red on the top so it looks like a kind of glowing orb inside the eye socket, something like that. Just touching up the rest of the black parts there too between the armour and the helmet. We're now going to highlight all the black parts of the armour using Vallejo German Grey. So like you did with the red you want to make sure that you're doing the highlights in a similar kind of area in a similar kind of way so that they almost tally up so where you've got that Evil Sun Scarlet highlight going down to, you want the German Grey to go down to the same level as that. Also like you did with the armour, you're putting the German Grey where the light is catching it. Now we're going to be using a little bit of Citadel Mechanica Standard Grey. I'm going to use this to do some edge highlights. Once again, it's going to be the edges that are going to be catching the light, so the top edges of things. And if there's a recess, it'd probably be the bottom edge that would be catching the light. Now we're going to work on the gold. I'm going to start with Citadel Retributor Armour. And again, as always, leaving the Grax Earth Shade in the recesses, you're going to reapply the gold to give that a good shine. You're also going to leave the undersides with just the shade on. You're not going to start reapplying the colour to that because you do want them to be shaded. You do want it to look like there is actual shadow there. Like so. Now it seems that there's a layer missing here. Can't find the file footage for it, but what you want to be doing prior to this one is using Citadel Liberator Gold to highlight all of the gold parts. Now you want to think about where the highlights are going to be, like where the light's catching the gold and that kind of thing. And once you've finished that layer with Liberator Gold, you're then going to add some Vallejo Model Air Chrome to the Liberator Gold and do this layer which is the final highlight for the gold. Now if you want a tutorial on how to paint all the gold just let me know and I can do a nice one on that. There's one of five shades of gold I'll link up here but it's that effect that I'm going for with the gold on this miniature. So now we're using Citadel Corn Red and we're going to be touching up these purity seals making sure that you get them, get rid of any other colours that might be on them and bringing the colour back out, making sure that you leave the shade in the recesses. Once that's done we're going to use a little bit of Citadel Wasdaka Red and we're going to highlight these purity seals 
Now you want to be highlighting the top edges of both the top and the bottom of the purity seals. You don't want to get any of these highlights underneath any of those edges or anywhere like that. And that will create more of an impression that the light is catching it from above. Next up we're going to use a little bit of Citadel Pink Horror. We're going to use that to do the final highlight on these purity seals. And you're mainly just picking out details here. Where the edges of the wax seals have got those little ridges and bumps. You just want to be picking out the little bumps on it. Just to make them stand out. Like so. So now we're going to use Citadel Avalon Sunset. And we're going to do these lenses. So using the thinnest brush that you've got. You want to just reach inside there and highlight about the back two thirds of the lenses. Now these are slightly smaller than the normal Primaris lenses to me. They seem a little bit thinner, so they're a bit more of a pain to do. Then we're going to add a little bit of Vallejo white to the yellow, to the Avalon Sunset. And then we're just going to do a highlight of about 50% of the area that we've just put the Avalon Sunset on. Like so. Now just adding a little bit of Vallejo White to the previous mix. I'm just going to do a final highlight to the back end of these lenses. Like so. You're only doing about maybe half or two thirds of the previous highlight there and with those lenses done we're now just going to use a little spot of pure white to put a spot in the front of each lens like so I'm going to use a little bit of Vallejo Black. I'm going to start doing some of the scroll work on the purity seals. So what I'm doing is turn it sideways and doing a lot of vertical lines from one side of the parchment to the other. There's also a few little breaks and symbols in there. I do like a little flat top triangle. And then almost like the eye that the Inquisitors have and the... the Sisters of Battle. But you can add pretty much anything to those that you want to. Now I'm going to use a little bit of Mornfang Brown. I'm just going to reapply some colour to the holster and the pouch. And it's just to reapply that base colour to it, and then we can do some highlights and scuffs on it, and make it look like it's a bit worn and battered. Still a bit perplexed about why he's carrying that hand around with him. Now we're going to add a little bit of Sithdel Rakarth flesh to the Mornfang Brown. And then we're going to start doing highlights around the edges of the pouch and the holster. Now the idea here is that we're going to be painting scuffs on them so they look a bit rough and ready. With that layer done, we're going to start doing the scuffs a little bit more detailed now. So we're going to mix a little bit more Citadel Rakarth flesh to the previous mix. And we're just going to go with left and right strokes on the verticals and up and down strokes on the horizontals just to give them that rough scuffed look. Now you can go to town with this and do a lot of different layers slowly getting higher and higher, like lighter and lighter. But I find that doing about three or four gives it a nice enough look for your tabletop. So we're going to add a little bit more Citadel Rackard Flesh. I'm using the thinnest brush I use here, the Army Painter Wargamer Character Brush. And again, just doing the same kind of highlights 
but on a slightly smaller scale just to give that a little bit more look as though it's got a bit of rough texture to it as though it has been scuffed through wear and tear like so and that is the finished Primaris Blade Guard Ancient it's a really great figure really happy with how it turned out and I'm going to link up the Knights of the Chalice shoulder pad there which is painted on to show you how you can do that if you want to do it that chapter thanks for watching i hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content also think about subscribing to some of our other social media link below thanks very much if the channel you enjoy the content and you'd like to support us both the coffee and patreon pages are linked below thanks very much